What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who this is. I gave you the intro. So, uh, let me, uh, tell you guys what I'm going to give them a spiel about today. And, uh, I'm doing some podcasts, and again, let me repeat and say, I apologize for not cranking out more videos right now. I've been, like I said before, I've been blessed, and I've been, um, lucky enough where a lot of stuff has been falling into place for me right now. You know, I'm still, you know, I'm not no millionaire or billionaire, but things are, you know, aren't looking bad compared to the average person. So, I'm blessed in that regard, and I thank you. Now, uh, I will be cranking out more videos. Just be patient, and you'll have them coming. And also, if you want me to talk about some newsworthy thing, submit it to my, to go to, uh, out of, like, at Out of Focus on Twitter and submit it. A lot of this stuff has been me just getting emails or somebody sending me something through Google Mail or Facebook. And I'll just be looking it up and like, hey, this is interesting. If I think it's interesting, I'll do it. Today, this was a, this was a uh, uh, audience submitted question. And a person asked me, you know, what do, you, what do I think is one of the biggest problems in the black community? And uh, this is this, and the answer might surprise you. It's not going to be the usual drugs, violence, uh, low test scores, etc., etc., etc. It's going to be lack of vision and too many freaking dreamers. Now let me go in. In the black community, you'll see you've probably seen these names that, that were all over Facebook and probably Twitter and Google. You know, and uh, what's that? Uh, Google Plus. Where somebody will look inside, a cat will look inside a mirror and see a line. There was one that was a pretty nice one. It was a it was a it was a black girl with pigtails looking in the mirror and saw a princess. I don't have a problem with that per se. But when there's too many people doing that, that's what the problem is. It's okay to be a dreamer. But when, when is it okay to be a doer? You never see anybody, you know, I'm always telling people, like, even at my, where I, like I said, I still hold a 9 to 5. And like I said, I'm blessed to the point now. I tell my, I tell the people at my job, I don't need all the overtime they're trying to throw down our throats. I'm lucky. I got other avenues now. And I try to show people, but you know how people are. Oh, he ain't doing these. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's the thing in the community is, if you're a person who's a doer, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you ain't going to do this. You ain't doing that. And that's why I keep what I do to myself. Or I might tell my brothers. And I might tell my mom, my dad. I'll tell the people that are in my circle. Because then when I do it, you know, they'll be saying, well, now I remember you were telling so-and-so you were doing this and nobody wanted to get with you. Now look at you. They're trying to hop on board. And that's the thing I'm, I'm, I'm finding out right now. To me... I've never been i never been a dreamer per se. Now let me let, let me let me to that extent. Let me give you an example. What I wanted to do now, I had it mapped out beforehand, and yes, you could call that dreaming. What I did is I had a plan, I had a detail. Here's what I want to do: X, Y, Z. I wasn't going. I, I didn't want to become this all-consuming entity overnight. I had a I mapped out a plan, and and and, and let me tell you people this. Map out your plan and stick to it. No matter what anybody says. I don't care if it's... Like, there's been times when I'm on cop to this. There's been times when me and my brothers had problems. I mean, not problems like like we got... Like, we had serious arguments where, you know, you should do this, this, and this. And, uh, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And, like I said, I discuss everything over with my immediate circle because those are my biggest critics. Those are the ones that are going to tell you to your face, you know, hey, this this is mud. Those are the ones that aren't going to spare your feelings because they know you. Now, I don't care, like I said, I care 
about it, like people how, how people feel about my videos to a point. But it's nothing like when somebody like like say your brother or your sister or your mother, or your father or your cousin or somebody comes like, hey man, this this what are you doing? This stinks. And then you listen, you ask them why, and then, like I said, that's where I go from. And I had a plan, and I had a, I had a detailed plan. I and, I and every and every once in a while, I would change my plan according to what was happening at that point in time. Like sometimes there 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 was times where I was lucky enough where I moved my plan up, but there was other times where I had to put the you know I had to the whoa put the put the brakes on things because it wasn't going like it wanted to, and I had to, I had to tweak some things here and there. But what you want to do is. You want to have a plan, and I always tell people what you want to do. You want to be clear, concise, and consistent, and you want to have credibility. The thing that the thing that helps me a lot is I have credibility. Let me ask you folks this: How many black guys you know wearing a wearing a skull cap and wearing some Gucci sunglasses can come off very credible, credible talking about the escalation of ISIS over there in Kobani? If you go, and I had a picture up on my Instagram, if you go look at it, maybe I'll put it up on my Facebook or my uh, other Facebook page. A Kurd wrote, you have so much detail that you can only find a lot of stuff that you're saying over there. Well, I look up the information and I talk to people here and there. The internet is a vast source of information as far as who you can talk to. And I've had, I've had people send me videos. Like, I had, I had videos of sending me whenever they were bombing Homs City. Uh, somebody sent me a video. Because I, I knew, I knew uh, like I said, there's series that live in America. So it's not like, you know, like, well, I talk, I have no problem talking. Let me put it this way. I have no problem talking to people from other countries. But I know a lot of people do that live in America. So I have no problem reaching out. Because you know why they'll reach back out to you. But back to what I'm talking about. The dreamers. You can dream all you want. But then, like, when you get to your 30s, it's time to, like, pull your plan of action. When you get to your 40s, it's like, look, man, if you didn't have a plan, that's your fault. You were coming up with something quick. And a lot of people, that's why I admire a lot of these rap, like, rap stars in that regard, and a lot of these athletes. Because coming up, you know they heard this, because I, I know, like, like I know, I, I told you folks, there's, there's a couple who I know, like if I see him, I don't know him as far as we hanging out. I know him to say, hey, like, hey, what's up, you know? Hey, what's up, Warren Mack? Like, hey, what's up? I know him that regard. Like, they know mutual friends. And uh, and a lot of them, and the ones that I knew, there were people that were like, ah, oh, you know, I'm doing this. Like, they would say, hey, look, man, why don't you get with me and get out the streets? Or our friends would be like, ah, oh, no, nah, you, you, that's going to take how long? Well, some of them, they, some hit the lick. They, they got their, you know, come up. And all of a sudden, these guys, all of a sudden, they're like, well, hey, what about us? And I'm, and I'm like, and then it, look, it looks dirty because you're not taking care of your dudes. But at the same time, when you try to take care of your dudes, they don't want to hear none. So you come back, like, t 10 years later, be taken care of? No, you you, you got to learn when to strike at the spot. Like you always hit the you always hit steel when it's white hot. That's when it bends easy. You don't wait to hit the steel to try to bend it when it's when it's cold. Or you'll be trying to bend that all day. But like I said, it's a lack of it's a lack of planning and it's a lack of lack of doers. There's lack of actual doers. There's there's too many dreamers in the black community as opposed to too many doers. And let me not, let me not forget the third component to this one. All you talkers out there, I mean, I they just talk. There's nothing like you got people saying, "Well, what have you done?" This and that. I know what I've done. Like I said, trust me. People would come out on my Facebook, on my Twitter, and on YouTube if I didn't like help folks out. Now I'm gonna tell you something that I do. Now I don't like doing this, and people know me. No, I don't. I don't like doing this because I'm not a braggart. But like. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell a lot of these critics this: when you can get guys that come out of the joint that got bodies, that got legitimate bodies, like that got bodies on paper that like they admit that they did, and coming out of the joint 25 years later, and you help them get jobs, you come talk to me. But uh, that's just one. Like I said, I don't like talking about that because I'm not like a braggart. I like to help folks for the sake of helping people. 
Because people go, like, I had one time I had one friend do this. He goes, why do you do this, man? He goes, you don't have to do this. I said, I do it because I'm in a position where I can, if I can help others, I'm going to do that. I know, I'm, 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 like I said, I know certain people, and if I can put you in contact, I'll do this, this, and that. But, like, the, but for me, I'm different. I'm a doer. Win, lose, or draw, I want to do it. Wrong, right, or indifferent. Yeah, look, man, it could be the wrongest thing in the world. If I feel it's right, I'm doing it. But that, that's that's the thing. you got to be man or woman enough to accept that responsibility if it goes south. I had many times where shit went south, but you would never knew it went south because I made it look like I pulled gold out of shit. So that's another key. You gotta, sometimes it depends on how your perspective is. Like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people it's like, you know, like like my brothers gonna be like, man, you pulled that out of your ass. I'm like, hey, look, you, know, you ain't lying, but I'm gonna tell them. But at the end of the proverbial day, you gotta sit down and realistically ask yourself, are you gonna be a dreamer or are you gonna be a doer? And if you're gonna be a dreamer, don't get mad at doers because they're not gonna give you a handout. And that's another thing they all, all all these dreamers want a handout. You have to honestly apply yourself. And if you don't know something, ask. There's people out there willing to help you. A closed mouth does not get fed. And believe me, I get fed. So I'm out, and I hope this helps you. Any questions, you know, I'll answer them. Or if I can't do it, I'll get somebody to, you know, that'll know it. But thanks for listening. Peace.